We've been up all night and we were holding strong. Our fight was to make sure that we retain experienced, skilled nurses that will be able to take care of our community and any patient that walked in our facility. We have a really strong bargaining team that was not going to give up. When I saw how the nurses were really fighting at the table, it really gave me goosebumps. I think it was, what, 16 hours straight we're at the bargaining table last night into this morning. So our energy and our strength and our commitment to our nurses, to the patients and the community kept us going all night. Two weeks straight since May the 9th, just constantly going and going and going. Three and seven o'clock, we had at least two seven o'clock days, including this morning. We were tired, but we kept holding each other up because we knew what our end goal was. We're representing about 7,000 nurses. So we're tired, I'm here, I haven't slept yet, but after this, I plan on resting. <laughs> and I'm really excited we got to make history with this contract. It wasn't easy, but we got it done. And this is really huge, not, not just for our union and for our nurses and all of our members, but most importantly, the communities that they serve. To all the nurses out there, whether if you're in DHS, public health, mental health, we fight and we stand strong for all of us. We didn't give up on you. We didn't give up on our community. We didn't give up on our patients. And because of that, we won. <laughs>